What's up, guys? Welcome back collected. for the next. I'm talking here. I'm talking. What's up, guys? Welcome back for the next episode of Genesis Alpha One. Okay, so still haven't built the decontamination unit because I keep getting distracted and I'm dumb. Do you hate it when that happens? Okay. Uh, I don't need to gather all the framework just yet. I've got 13. That's okay. I need copper though. Need copper. Let's go find some copper, guys. Yeah. More sulfur would be nice. Where are we at for sulfur? Uh, we can make one more. One more turret. Let's find some copper first. Okay. Copper, 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 copper. No. Panel? Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Cable. Okay. Resource acquired. So we are one jump away. Prepare for hyperdrive. Now then, I don't know if this is a planet resource or teleporter resource. Ah. Nice, 12 cable. All right, little mama, start working that beam. <laughs> Got him. Resource beaming complete. Resources collected. I could send Seeker out to the planet and gather some materials while we're doing this. Resource acquired. Nah, I don't really care about anything on that's on these planets. So we're okay. We'll just do this. We'll make our decontamination chamber. It's all gravy, baby! Resource all gravy! Resources collected. Like how the keyboards in Japanese. Resource beaming complete. That's the language in 2147. Resource it's all just Japanese. We've all just swapped over to Japanese. That's it. Resource beaming complete. Resources collected. <laughs> Seeker, I never would have noticed that, yep. That's just one of those things. Unless you're, like, really paying attention. It's like, yeah. Resource acquired. It's mostly in Japanese. Except for, like, a couple of things, like TCR, VXB, commit, send, cryo, symbols. But yeah, it's all, like, mostly Japanese. Resource beaming complete. Which is... Just fun. Resources collected. Let's see here. Any, anything we need to collect? No? Okay. Resource beaming complete. So how's everyone doing with the, uh, uh, what are they calling it now? Phys physical collected. isolation? It's no longer social isolation. It's no longer quarantine. Because quarantine was too harsh a word. Social isolation implies uh, other things. Uh, so now it's physical isolation. Because I think people were interpreting social isolation as only being social media related. I don't know. Um, the, the WHO fit, changed it the other day, and I don't know why. Why am I helping little mama on the beams? That you thought she could handle it all on her own? Because... Well, Mama's a little slow on those beams, um, so I'm just gonna just gonna give her a hand. You know, yeah. we're just gonna gang up on these beams. You know? Resources collected. Seeker, you are considered uh, essential personnel. Nice, nice. That's good. That's good. Um, in my current household, I only have one person that is not considered essential uh, personnel. So he's. Uh, He's the only one that's not currently working. So yeah, fun stuff. Okay, decontamination chamber. How big is this? It's like 
two two of these areas big. So what do I gotta do? What I gotta do is I gotta deconstruct the deposit, move it, well put down that thing and then put the deposit down, which I got a robot in there right now. I'm not a big fan of that. Oh yeah. Not not great. Not great. I don't know how to get him out of there too. Um Nothing's in the deposit right now, I believe. Yeah, nothing's in the deposit right now, so nothing's going to get destroyed. Um, I guess we'll see if the robot transfers. Uh, yeah, the robot went somewhere else. I don't know where he is, though. So, not that big a deal. God, that sound is terrifying. Alright, contamination chamber. Ooh. First time I've ever had one of these. It's pretty exciting, guys. Pretty exciting. Okay. Deposit. Wunderbar! Sweet. I don't think there was any place else that I really wanted a decontamination chamber. I mean, honestly, I should have a decontamination chamber between the refinery, uh, the deposit, the hangar, and the rest of this place. But... Yeah. For now, our deposit is our biggest issue, and I forgot to take the turrets out of the deposit before I destroyed it. What a big dumb idiot I am. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Nice. Check out this decontamination place. That's pretty cool. Yeah, turrets are gone. Oh well. Oh well. And the, uh, the de decontamination also spreads down here as well. So I'm pretty pretty excited to test that out. Watch now that I built that, no enemies are gonna spawn in there. Bastards. Alright, well, I guess we need more turrets then, because I destroyed two of them for no goddamn reason. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm a genius, aren't I? In the back of my mind I was like, okay, make sure you don't destroy those, and then I completely forgot, because I'm stupid. Yay. Okay. What are we at for everything? Nine cable. I could make more things, but... Okay, what do I want to make? What do we have that's new? Alien research is not new. That's been there. We could do medical research. Uh, we do need another reactor. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, I think we had our reactors here? No? Have I not built another reactor? Could have sworn I built another reactor. It's not attached to the bio tank. It's not on this area. That's the bridge. Do I want them connected off the bridge? I could have them connected off the bridge. Yeah, sure. Why not? Should I build two? I could build two. I don't like the door placement of reactors. It angers me. Whatever. Let's just build two. Let's get ahead of the energy reserve problem. Uh, okay. So... Ooh, I could build a lounge. Let's Humanoids build a lounge. Humanoids access bars and lounges when they feel lonely or when they are looking for relief. Crew members that are not assigned to do proper work on board will probably visit this place. Bars and lounges increases the healing speed of the crew. Sweet. Alright, yeah, let's put this right next to the clone lab in the quarter section. Shall we? Let me put it, like, right above the turbo lift. That'd be cool. That would be really cool if I could do that, but, uh, no. I cannot. And yes, it is two stories. You are looking at that correctly. It's a big-ass lounge. Let's go visit the lounge, guys. Uh, do shields prevent aliens from getting on? Um, I don't think so. I think what the shields do is they prevent certain effects. And yes, it is a really big lounge. Lounge. Look at this goddamn place. <laughs> it 
How extra is this lounge? Like, seriously. It's got stairs up here and everything. Boom, look at this fucking place. This is pretty, uh... Pretty neato. Oh, I'm sure there's alcohol. Well, mama, I'm sure. But yeah, look at this. You got your little... Your little go-go boxes up here. And everything. But yeah. This is, this is a pretty crazy lounge. Oh, damn, that looks like a more like a full-on club. I know, right? But this uh, this helps with the passive regeneration of our crew's HP, I believe. Uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, cool. Not me, though. Doesn't heal me, unfortunately. Which is bullshit. But, uh, yeah. It's big. I like how you can see your whole ship outside of your windows. Uh, how are we looking? Do we need another crew space? No empty cabins left. Yeah, we might need another cabin. Is it time we start uh, expanding the crew? Need more framework? We can do that. How are we doing on storage, by the way? 11 out of 60? Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Resource beaming complete. Uh, what are some of the issues that come up with adding more crew? Um, as far as I've seen, all it is is just, uh, biosphere maintenance. You just need to get more, more biosphere available in order to get more crew. Uh, you do need to get a certain amount of crew in order to perform a genesis on a planet, which is the in-game goal. And I've seen that range anywhere from 20 to 35 members of crew. So yeah, you need a lot of, uh, you need a lot of biosphere stuff. So like, uh, while Lil Mom's doing this, I could take a look and see if there are any planets nearby that have O2. Because how are we at on biosphere? Uh, can't super duper tell right now. I think we're at eight, so we can have eight total crew members. Let's see. Pretty sure we're at eight. Yeah, okay, so we're at eight. Um, we don't have any more ferns to Resource put in, acquired. unfortunately. And little mama, I'll make sure I grow some grapes so you can have some wine. <laughs> Okay, so we could actually search for O2 plants. Not a whole lot of choices, unfortunately. We can go here. I guess we should finish up with our tractor beaming. Beam, beam, beam. Access granted. Okay, so yeah, our other robot just went back up to the, uh, to Access the bridge. Granted. Fortunately. So yay! Didn't destroy it. It's pretty neat. All right, how much is left here? Resource beaming complete. Six. Resources collected. <clears throat> Resource beaming complete. Resource acquired. So, I was talking with one of my coworkers the other day. Um, I can't remember how the discussion came up, but it was involving uh, character controls Resources and movement selected. in video games. And, uh... Ah, wait, what was it? I think we were talking about original Laura Croft. Resource like Tomb Raider complete. back in the day, how her controls were absolutely abysmal. Resource acquired. Turn. But anyway, uh, it basically went on to me asking him, because I've always I've thought about this for a while. Um, when was the last time you actually ran somewhere just to get somewhere? Not like in a race or anything or marathon or whatever. Just ran. When was the last time you ran sometime? Um, and in addition to that, when was the last time you strafed actively? When was the last time you jumped? For crying out loud, when was the last time you actually had to jump? 
Um, then I was thinking, if we had to live even one day in the lives of our video game characters, we would not make it. <laughs> I, I definitely wouldn't make it. <clears throat> like, jumping... Like, like, look how fast my character's freaking running right now. I am actively full sprinting through this ship everywhere I go. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I could not do that. Like, strafing? Like, when was the last time you had to physically do this movement in your life? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so let's go get some more O2. Hey, I could run and strafe well. Yeah, but could you do it for the same amount of time that you have a video game character doing it? No, you couldn't. Okay, what about jumping? See her. But yeah, strafing. Yeah, I could, I could see strafing for, uh, for a cook, for a chef. All right. There's a fern. There's batteries, panels. Yeah, sure. We'll get started on that. Um, we'll send Seeker out to go get that. Uh, actually, no. I should, I should. No. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send Seeker out to get the stuff. Okay. I'm gonna send him out to get all the stuff. I am a full-on white boy, I don't jump. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I am also not much of a jumper. I can't even tell you the real, the last time that I actually jumped. So I'm gonna send Seeker out there to go get the stuff. He's faster than me, uh, but I will go to the site by myself. Yeah, that's what I thought. I want to see what this does. I want to. I want to test it. Not on myself, obviously. It's goddamn acid. Resources collected. Resource beaming complete. Let's finish up with this. By the time we Resource finish with this, the ship will probably be back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there's the sulfur. Fine by me. We need more of it anyway. Harvester has returned. Thank you for the ammo. Okay. So. Wait for our little robots to do their thing. I think one of our robots should be coming down the elevator now. Yeah, there he is. There he is. You killed my pets! Okay, you know what, Seeker? I don't even have an alien containment unit yet. Dang it. Dang it! You jump puddles of water if there's no way around and kind of strafe slash dodge when uh, passing people shopping. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. All right, where's the... Resources collected. Oh, 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 did they spawn in the thing? Did they spawn in here? They did, they did spawn in there. Should we let de decontamination take care of it? Try to, anyway? Come on! Do it! Where are they? I, I, mean, I mean, I'm sure they're destroying the power nodes. They broke one. Broken over there. Resource acquired. Or no, they actually even haven't even broken it. They're just kind of walking around in a circle. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Oh my lord. Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I don't know what these guys are doing. I guess we can go take a look. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, that's growing right now. So, you know what? For science. New materials have been refined. It's growing pretty quick. Should be done fairly soon. I'll get a pip on my uh, my radar when it actually finishes growing. So. <clears throat> Resources collected. It's getting there. Let's see if the decontamination chamber is even worth using. I have no idea. I have no idea what that enemy is doing. It's not destroying the nodes. He's probably just lost. Just a lost boy. New materials have been refined. I would like to make another robot, but I mean I don't even think we're fully utilizing the two we have, so not that big a deal. Mola, what up? You gonna finish growing or what? New materials resource acquired. I don't want to walk in there because <laughs> I don't want to get sprayed with acid. So, yeah. <laughs> you wimp. <laughs> you know what? I, I'll I'll take it. I don't want to be get sprayed with acid. Maybe I have to shoot it. If I shoot it, it might wake up. Pushing me out of the way. New materials have been refined. Robot, come open the door so I can shoot this thing without walking in there. Please. There we go. Hey, come here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, alright. Resources collected. Hey, it did it. Cool. Survival guide update. Hey, come over here. Alright, fine. Decontamination unit works. <laughs> Seeker, a real captain would take action, not cower in fear. Okay, you know what? It's acid. Alright. It's goddamn acid. Well, decontamination unit works. Cool. Now you have all seen it work. <clears throat> It would probably be a good idea to put up a, an energy field right here just to keep them stuck in the decontamination unit. That would be pretty cool. Uh, how are we doing on supplies? Ten gunpowder? That's enough for three more turrets, bud. Let's do it. Resources collected. Hell yeah. <laughs> what, cowering in fear? Is it an action? Uh, apparently not. Processing. Processing. Is 
So two of these are going to go into the hangar. The other one I might put in I might put into the uh, Access granted. the refinery or no not the refinery the uh, the deposit rather. So there's another game coming out, another roguelite, uh, called Deep Sky Derelicts? Derelict these balls? Uh, that's coming out on the 24th. I'm gonna probably be picking that up. <clears throat> gonna probably pick that up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, bud. There we go. <laughs> think about that. Get him, turret! <laughs> Decontamination unit is so good! That's a lot of planty boys. Yeah, it is. Get them, decontamination unit. Maybe the decontamination unit can only activate if both of the nodes are active. Maybe. 7 out of 10 on healing. That's pretty good. Um, dozer. Okay, back again. Had a big, uh, long conversation with a buddy of mine whose brother is the chief of police in Plymouth, uh, Michigan. He works at Hobart doing food service repair. Pretty interesting conversation. Not fun, kind of stressful, but I'm glad to be back to this distraction. Well, hey, you know what? That's literally the whole point of why I started the stream. To help distract people from the pandemic that is uh, currently raging. All right. We eat still good? Oh man, we're only one off from healing? Yo. I might want to let these things grow, actually. Yeah, I think I want to let these things grow so that way they can, uh... Keep doing what they're doing, you know? Let's do that, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that until we get to sample 9. Or sample 10, rather. So we can, uh, do that. <clears throat> so, okay. What you're looking for on these aliens for samples, like the alien abilities and whatnot, is uh, you're looking for the red aliens. Not these regular green planty boys. Looking for the red planty boys. Come on. Pop, damn it. Takes them a little bit, but all things considered, they're growing pretty quick. They sound gross. Got a ton of food ordered from Cisco for my family. Perks of being a cook and the owners liking me. Man, Seeker, you got off easy on that. Done. And you are. Alright, well, you're taking your damn sweet time. Why is it that the second I want them to start multiplying, they don't? Hmm? Hmm? Alright, whatever. Uh, how are we doing on another quarters? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So, do that. Uh, we're okay for now. We don't need to... 
We don't need to put another one down. We're okay with the 10. Uh, biosphere, I think we have enough for... Mm, I don't know, actually. Eight. <laughs> Seeker, it's a conspiracy, Zans. They'll only grow when it's annoying. Word to your mother. Harvester destination set. You're not wrong. Go get them, Seeker. Six, five, we got enough turrets out here. We're fine. Okay. So there's some framework there. Batteries. The panels are done. All right, well, Mama, you take care of that. Where am I going right now? Where am I going? I don't know. Those are reactors. Oh, I guess, I guess if you, just in case you want to see what the reactors look like, here you go. It totally doesn't require any shielding at all. It's just kind of a freestanding whatever that is. No clue. I don't even know why we would need a crew in here, to be completely honest. No clue. I mean, maybe if you put a crew in here, you get more energy. Harvester has returned. Sweet. Harvester's returned. And it brought enemies. Okay. So... Right, I was going to the Resource greenhouse to acquired. check how much... How much room we had for crew. I'm pretty sure we have eight. Yeah, we have eight right now, but we should get another plant from uh, from our hangar. Oh, and since we were talking about, you know, cooks and whatnot earlier, if you work in the food service industry right now, and you're working during all this whole pandemic and everything, thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I highly appreciate what you're doing for humanity. And that's not really that's not really a small thing to say, especially, you know, considering we're in a global pandemic. It's a big deal. New it's a big deal. Unlocked. It's like all the people that work in food, all the people that work in like Walmarts, Home Depots, those big box locations Resources that are dealing with all the, the idiots that are going around. You're doing a service, you really are. And I don't think that you guys get enough thanks. Every single time I go into a store and I see workers nowadays, I thank them. I say, hey, thanks for what you're doing. You know, you need to know that you're you're helping keep society running. Literally. Materials have been refined. Like, people said that kind of shit before, but you're literally keeping everyone running right now. If you guys all stopped working, which I wouldn't even blame you. You're literally putting yourself at risk to work. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, I appreciate every last one of you. The things that you guys are doing, it, it can't be measured right now. Because, literally, if you guys weren't doing what you were doing, society would collapse. <laughs> There's, that's just, that's, that's the long and the short of it. Um, you are actually essential. So when you're when you're labeled as essential personnel, it's the truth. It is the truth. Um, I work in manufacturing, and I barely consider myself essential. Sure, I make stuff that goes into like, um, you know the, you know all that crap Processing. that's necessary for running the medical facilities and you know all that stuff. Um, we're currently making parts that are that are used in that that field, the medical field. Which, you know, is not unimportant, but uh, there's surplus of that stuff right now. Anyway, all that out of the way, um, I appreciate you guys a lot. It means a lot that you guys are doing this, doing what you're doing. Um, and I feel like, because uh, I've, I've worked, I've worked those jobs before, I've worked in, you know, retail and whatnot. Um, I've never worked in, Resources like, a kitchen. I've never worked in, say, like, one of those big box places that's like a Walmart or Home Depot or, you know, those kind of things. But, you know, I feel your pain. I feel your struggle. I've never worked in this type of a global situation, 
in a retail position. Uh, thank God. But, um, yeah, you know, basically, I, I appreciate you. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's, 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 that's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Right, uh, one of the things was taking that up. I was going to clone more people. That's what I was going to do. Oh, greenhouse. Of course. Of course, greenhouse. I was like, what the where? Resource acquired. Yeah, yeah, it was here. Okay, so that's planted and currently growing. Where Okay, there it is. I was like, where the hell is my console at? Dozer, you know, it's funny you say that. My buddy Scott, he was truly uh, offended when I asked him why uh, his job is there's a surplus providing him is an essential service badge to get through any kind of bullshit for the next six months kitchen. And he immediately told me he is on his way home from U of F Hospital and his first job is at a meat plant in Detroit. Man, that is so hard to <laughs> to figure out what you're saying, Dozer. But basically you're saying that your buddy is essential personnel working in various fields and that's uh that's fucking awesome. Man, it's fucking awesome. Okay, where did I put my cloning bay? It's all good, Dozer. It's all good. I think right now everybody that's working, they deserve a break. They deserve a break. Unfortunately, Processing. you can't really have a break, but yeah, after everything's all said and done, I think once this all blows over, which it will, Access everyone ready. needs to internalize that this will pass. This is not the end of the world. Because um, if it is the end of the world, man, that is a boring end of the world, I will tell you that. Uh, let's get something for our greenhouse workers, shall we? Let's get some... Some bang bang well, for them. <clears throat> All right, let's. Uh, that is not the right place. There we go. Where's our clone lab? There it is. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna end the episode here. But just everyone, stay safe. You know, don't let anybody uh, push you around if you work in the retail section of society because uh, you know what. They're going to treat you like garbage. They don't get the situation that they're in. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you appreciate, uh, you know, the videos and whatnot. It is what it is. But, uh, hey, you guys all take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, stick around. I'm going to probably do uh, one more episode. I think a, uh, you know, three-hour stream is probably good for now. <clears throat> but anyway, I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,